Hello everybody, this is Good Old Nighty and welcome to an order... Why do I keep calling myself Good Old Nighty? It's my old YouTube name. This is Aftermath and welcome to another game of Heroes of the Storm. On Ravenlord map with Nova, which could be a lot of fun. Not sure yet, we'll see. Alright, so last game, last game Nova. Alright, I'm not sure if you watch other two as well, but if you watch both, then you probably know what I talked about last game. I make it short, just to not bring it up again. I got critiqued, and I just want to point one thing out. I'm saying high level because I play with people with high level, even if I'm not high level myself. I'm not saying high level because I think I'm a pro. Actually, I want to be a pro. I, I very much do, but I'm not. And I don't really know how to measure that, because sadly, there's no ranking system yet. Soon, but not now. So, what can I say? For, the, for that, it counts. It's still gonna be high level TMM. Uh, high level gameplay because I play with people 40 levels or plus and I still gonna call it serious stats I'm not gonna stop calling serious stats but what I can do is pointing this out in the description I will do that from now on so second figures I also didn't really talk about the game and had a low class commentary now this is practice but believe me it's gonna be better I just want to point out I'm playing this game live this is not uh, a pre-record this is not uh, what's it called uh, a replay this is just me playing live so chances are, this has really, really a low play standard because it's low, it's low class. I'm playing it live, you know. There's a difference between playing something live and just playing, or oh, whatever. Just don't want to rage too much onto this. Uh, but what, there's some more things I want to point out. Uh, first of all, I don't think it's myself of the best player in the world, and everyone should be glad that I'm existing. But I do think that I am not bad. Because I usually tend to win four out of uh, six games, lose two. One because I never played Chaka before, and one because well, sometimes you just lose. So I have a high win rate. Ah, uh, tower range. Uh, so I play this live. Don't forget about that. And um, yeah, it's always important to know that if you play something live, it's hard to commentate on it. Sometimes I'm not gonna make up excuses though. Uh, I'm still gonna do this because it's fun to me. Uh, I'm still gonna call it the same way, and I'm just gonna play Nova. Last time I played Nova, I told you I was so bad, I never was so bad before. And this time I tried to do it better. And so far, it's alright, going better. My fucking nose is full. Oh shit. I hope that's not too annoying though. Like, I'm trying to talk as clear as I can. This is annoying that, well, tough luck, for me at least. There's Sarah Kerrigan, I'm not sure if I could kill her off, but I could try. Oh, she knew that I was there, alright. That's not too bad. I am dotted, I gotta die. It's gonna be horrible. Oh, she killed me. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that never happened to me before. She, well, she could obviously see me. I do know. The shadow effects, which makes you be angry to see. It's only there if you was seen before. Now, I was seen before, apparently. I don't know where from, but I was seen before. That's not very good. So, I gotta get into this game, one way or another. Maybe... I don't know why I'm just not very good. I still say this is the uh, showing effect, because I can just show you a replay of me Nova, and it's gonna be amazing. Like, I'm not only playing Nova and recording it. I'm playing a lot of this game. Uh, not currently, though. Not a lot of time. Uh, but I do play a lot of this game in my free time. And you, you tend to have sad, saddest games when I play Nova. Like, sad, like, I can't believe the enemy was that bad, sad. Or I can't believe my teammates were so bad, or I can't believe I am so bad. Yeah, this is one of those games where I say, I can't believe I'm this bad. <sighs> well, whatever. We're still fighting for this, my team is being passive as shit and getting ripped apart by the Kerrigan. Gotta admit, that's not very good. Uh, I'm not sure if I come in the right time, I think I'm coming too late. But maybe I could still try to take something off. A pickup would be nice. I don't think I need to pick something up. We pick something up together. Nice. Alright, that was a nice carrying and kill. 
I didn't have my cure again. Otherwise, I would have died for earlier. But not a big deal. Uh, we need experience. All right, so I have to hot trade sh hot shot straight now, which is good. More nuking ability. It's such a huge damage boost. It's uh, just insane to explain, really. Oh, Tyrande sees me again. All right. Nuked. Oh, not cool. Gonna take the fountain and then I'm gonna return to the battlefield cloaked with extra damage in mind. Because I deal a little more damage when I'm cloaked. Because I take this talent usually. I guess Tyrande, Whisper and Nova is really not that good. I realize now why I'm actually um, being seen all the time. Because of Tyrande. Tyrande has this passive. Just gonna auto take him to that. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, did not see who hit me with the spiders. Too bad, should have dodged that. Where is the Nazebo waiting? Is the Nazebo stopping to right at one point? But the question is where it's gonna be. Ah, damn. He survived so just so barely. I'm so I'm cloaked again. Okay, I'm gonna go for the kill. He's not gone yet. He's probably wizzing at the moon well. Yep, he's gonna die. He's oh no, I'm gonna die. Oh, this was so bad. This was so bad. It was so bad. So bad. So bad. I'm just clicked. I would have taken him off easily, and then I misclicked. I would—I'm not even sure if I would have survived if I would have taken him off. But with him surviving, I was no chance of me surviving it. No may. Oh, what's this stupid? No. Oh God, dang it! Oh, whatever. They already spawned the boss, really, <laughs> and that's not very good for us. Need to stop this push. Sadly, don't have IOE. That's a problem. But I can use skills regardless, I guess. All right, Tyrande, you die. All right, you nearly die. You're not gonna die from this, but chance I could. Yeah, we got the Lich King. I did around 1000 damage on him. That's nice. Luckily, she can't hit. I didn't get the auto attack off as I planned to, but the thing is, I didn't need to. Uh, why is the bench is only staying around? That's a bug, nice. With um, allied creep control, I, game is f ga I feel this game is still very iffy. And the Hunter's Mark is annoying the crap out of me at this point. Well, whatever, I should complain too much. Um, the hardest shows of playing Nova as against the hero that is good with dealing with uh, Invis Heroes. And my positioning is just very bad. So, what I need to do, at least for this game, is to work on my positioning. And the future as well, obviously. But um, one wise player always said. You don't work on everything at once. You only take one thing that annoys you, no. and that certain game you're playing, and you try to fix it. And you try to do that every game. And at one point it works, and you can work on the next thing. So this game, I focus on my positioning, because that's shit. Last game, I focused on the atmosphere game, I focused on map awareness. Now I focus on positioning. What are you doing, Kerrigan? Oh. Oh, that was no. I'm, oh, fuck! The full cooldown popped. I didn't know she's gonna still die. Oh, that's bad. That save was dead. All right, cool. Now I can do rewind. Rewind is a very important skill. And I'm trying to collect the tribute. So important, so important. Please work, please work. Yes, I got it. Nine. I didn't got it. I just just had nine, didn't I? Yep. That's German for no. But I'm pretty sure everyone knows by this point. That's freaking Ultralisk. This character gets killed Ultralisk. That character gets killed Ultralisk. Which is, in my opinion, the better ultimate anyway. 
So we got the tribute, it's still staying very hard. I won't say we are losing, but I won't say we are winning either. I have four stacks now, so I'm dealing a good amount of damage if I'm not dying. If, oh, tie to run there. <laughs> yeah, hot trades, my friend, hot trades, hot shots. Oh god, I didn't pay attention to this for just a second and now I died because of it. Oh, all my stacks are gone. I don't like Kerrigan. I they away all in this. I didn't really saw her coming, and li quite literally, actually. <laughs> Two ult here is a little bit annoying, in my opinion. They they all in this ult. The starfall ult is something they take as well, but I think this is what is sto stronger. Like the all in this ult is much stronger, in my opinion. I think that's kind of annoying, but whatever. This game is not running too good for me. Thirty to five is not good. I die too often. I die very much too often. The Lich King is going to die, there's no chance of him surviving. I just need to be here very quick. Oh, they're going all in this. Ah, this is not good. I so this is why I should usually... Oh, nice, the Starfall is going to change this. They, they can't really go for anything during the Starfall. It's 4 or 5, or five or seconds, which I have time to be completely useless. I didn't hit that Q, which was crucial to my most likely survivor. Oh, no, not. It wasn't. Oh, Terror is gonna explode. Overdrive or double cripple or cripple shot? I, I say crippling shot. I don't make my ultis count enough for overdrive. Overdrive is only good if you're playing solo. Triple and uh, uh, penny shot is much better. Uh, crippling shot, I mean. If you're not playing solo, if you team play for your team. Uh, I'm not playing good enough uh, to make my ultimates count as much. So I'm not gonna go for the overdrive build, which I used to take, which makes me an asshole, frankly. I'm not just gonna go for this this game. Next game, most likely. This game makes, makes very little sense. Oh. I still pumped a lot of damage, so that's not a big deal. I could carry again. That's important. And all right, two and dies too. Everyone dies. That's good for us. For them, it's not that good. On the other side, I don't want this to be good for them. I have enough mana for all ultimates, and there is a Natsibo not taking a lot of cover. But I'm not gonna waste it on him because he's so far gone, he could be taking cover at this point. I don't just don't really feel like wasting another ultimate again. I'm sorry, it's just something makes me feel that this is not a good idea. Okay, actually, what you know what? Fuck this shit. Oh, yeah, if it wouldn't be for Kerrigan, he would be probably dead at this point. And with overdrive, he could have died. Uh, I don't overdrive. I didn't expect him to not search cover behind the building, to be quite honest. I hoped so, because that would get me so much damage on that building, but it didn't work it yet. Whoopala, I'm a little bit out of position. And by little, I mean quite a lot. Holy crap. Oh god, my positioning. This game. Not very good. Gonna drink auto move well, so I have full HP in a couple of minutes, seconds, or whatever I go. Huh. On the move. There are two bosses, why don't we take the upper one? I'm weird. I'm worried because the enemy team is near. Actually they are fucking near. Alright, we nuked one. I'm gonna get uh, to reposition. Took that one off. Alright. That's. And there's a mega kill. Nice! Good job, we can take pu push bottom. We should just all pot now. That was a nice engage. So I took uh, one off with a shot, and I took another one off with a right click. And which shot I mean, snipe, obviously. 
That was very nice. Uh, I think that what this was maybe giving us the first fort. Our not answer. Our first fort. Unser is German for our. Uh, and this first fort that would make basically make us get a little bit of an advantage because they still only have taken the bottom one defense tower. <laughs> Fuck this move well. I don't like move wells. Move wells give a huge advantage. They must be destroyed as much as you can. Fuck both of you. That was so worth it. Just because I was able to kick carry again as well. Actually, that wasn't worth it, was it? <laughs> My death time, 20 seconds higher. I just don't like the carry again in my team. But I kind of recovered. 25 to 6. I still died too much. The Kerrigan died a lot, but she can kill me so easily. It's not fun. It's absolutely no fun. She should not be jumping on me. Huh. Alright. Let's go for more. Uh, we should take maybe uh, Top as, when, uh, as next, because Top is uh, nearly pushed while middle isn't. Uh, we also should try to get, obviously, the second boss. Try to do this. I'm sh I'm not sure if they understand that. Maybe they just take it now. All right, cool. Don't wait for me. It's fine. Here we just most likely ends up dead. So we got both bosses. They just respawned, so I can basically have to highest impact now. By just going a little and helping my good old friend Masiba. I'm now focusing a little more on sniping low tar low life targets, so I can get a reset or fast reload. <laughs> oh, all right. I don't. N I, I didn't need the reset. In retrospective, <laughs> we actually I have annihilated them just now again. This game is going to be fairly one-sided. So, yeah. So what's what's the difference between overdrive and um, oh that was nice oh that was nice. Um, what is the difference between overdrive and? Uh, and crippling shot when it comes to my ultimate. I said if I'm making my ultimates count, if I'm uh, that egocentrical, I go overdrive. So why is that? Now, first of all, if I hit my W, uh, that's uh, I, I have to hit my W to have the same effect. 25% more damage for two and a half seconds. Or if I hit my W, for everybody, not only me. Every skill, every auto attack from everybody else does 25% more damage on the target. That's a lot. That's why it's a team ability. Use it when you have a team. And uh, when you trust the team. And I died. Alright. Uh, not very good. I was explaining. Anyway. Uh, you do that if you trust the team. Obviously. Crippling shot. 25% for everyone. Dies. Uh, during the slow. But that's only for two and a half seconds. Now. In triple tap, you shoot one shot per second. So if you double your uh, ulti, you have to be first or foremost, you need to be very near to the target. Like, you need to be... Uh, now, where the Terribut spawns, you need to be in order to hit a target with W, which is uh, uh, close to uh, uh, Vision Beacon. So that's not very good. Obviously. But what's not even worse is that everyone needs more damage, that's good. But you need to be in closer range to have the triple tap, tap and you only really need to, to um, deal 25% more damage on two shots of three. Overdrive on the other side uh, is five seconds. That means I do have a full chance of hitting Snipe, Revive, Snipe, Triple Tap. All shots. If I do it correctly. Mostly I only hit the last shot of uh, over uh, with that combo, with the double snipe combo. The last shot of over uh, the last shot of triple tap barely hits for the extra damage with me. But if I only were to use triple tap, I would always get the extra damage. Now this is egocentrical as fuck, because only I do extra damage. And it's also mana consuming as shit. However, and that's a big however. It's not bad. It's actually kind of good. In certain situations. If you don't trust your team or if you dominate and stomp so hard, you're four levels ahead. It's becoming very great. 
However, pinning shot is the better choice if you are not sure who is winning and if you trust your team. I trust my team. This team was pretty dude. We had a mega kill, we had multiple quad kills, we was just very dominating. So that's going easily. And I have nearly get finished tail level 7. Nice. Okay. So this is going fine. But as I said again and again, only because it's going fine doesn't mean it's good. In other words, I have to try more, I have to try better, I have to adapt better, and I have to have better positioning. This was like my biggest mistake. This game was my weak ass positioning. In other words, we'll see your next part, but let's see what I can learn next part and see how better I get during those parts. Uh, till that part, until that day. I wish you good luck and have fun. And hey, if you like that, please like and subscribe. Also, uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate every comment you leave, so go ahead and leave some of them.